What's up YouTube, Crafty Cars here, happy Friday. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install the Chase Base Tucked Brake Line Kit with Brake Bias Proportional Valve on your 92 to 2000 Honda Civic with OEM Master Cylinder. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is cut these two brake lines that go to the rear of the vehicle. Uh, how I ended up cutting mine was this little brake line cutter here, or I think this works with like any diameter line. Um, basically all you do is clamp it around the line, turn it around. Uh, lots of people have used this before, so it's pretty simple. And then I have to flare these as well, but before I flare them, I've got to take these fittings here and slip them onto the lines. First I take this nut piece, slip that over first. And then this little fitting here should also slip over the line. And that should snug up just like that when you go to install. Now you're ready to flare. All right, now this is actually my first time filming a brake line, so I'm not, I might not be the best teacher here, so uh, comment down below if you remember your first time, but for better instructions, I'd go look on a tutorial online or something like that. But what I know is that I wanna keep this flush with the top of the assembly here, tighten it down evenly on both these clamps. Take this piece, slide it on over. I'm gonna pay close attention to make sure I don't mess it up. Tighten it down, okay. I'm pretty sure you want it to be perfectly square when you get it on there, otherwise your flare won't be even. And then just kinda squish it. Looks pretty good to me, I'm gonna back it off. And there you go. I'm guessing that's what it should look like. That's a good even flare right there. And then the fittings will choke up on it just like that. And you should be able to slide them off at this point. Alright, so the next step is to install this F fitting. It's called the F fitting because it looks like an F. We got both the lines flared pretty good. Start by hand tightening it. Alright, let's grab a wrench and tighten it up. It looks like an 11 millimeter spanner wrench is going to work pretty good. This one's made to go around brake lines and stuff like that, so snug it up. You don't want to over tighten these because they are made out of aluminum and they will strip. Alright, so now that we got that squared away, I'm going to go ahead and install the tucked lines that wrap to our front calipers. This is pretty easy. All you got to do is on the front port of the master cylinder here. You tighten this down. It's a banjo bolt they're called, or banjo fitting. Then you'll take a 14 millimeter wrench, tighten that down. Like so. And then you're gonna wanna take this small line here. Right and fish it through this hole right here. Now we're going to come to the other side of the car. And then this fitting right here, it's a flare fitting, should feed right into this line here. Yeah. Half one. 
All right, so now we're gonna tuck the line that goes to the front passenger side. And you kind of want this to look as neat as possible. So I think I'm gonna go around it underneath the power steering rack, like so. We'll go along the subframe here. Underneath these houses. And out through this hole right here. And then, from this hole, go right into this fitting. So now we're going to hook up the rear brakes. Um, so I'm going to start with this line right here coming out from the master cylinder, and that's going to feed into this proportional valve right here. First things first, we'll hook this up. Make sure you got a washer on both sides. That's how you get your seal here. And I won't tighten that down quite yet. So I want to run it through the input of my brake bias proportional valve here. Now I got to find a place to mount this. It's got a bracket on it, and you can swivel the bracket around. What I think I'm going to end up doing is I want to mount it right about here, but I'm going to have to take that bracket and flip it 180 and then um, up on its side in order to mount it in probably one of these holes here. It's going to be damn, damn close, but we're going to make it work. So I found out where I want to mount this. I had to flip the bracket around. I'm going to mount, mount it right where this factory hole is. Um, it's important. You kind of want to tighten these down while you still have it loose. Otherwise, they're just trickier to get at. It makes more work for yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down. Like so. And this line here. The other end is going to hook right up to that F fitting that we installed earlier. Funny. Here we go, we're going to mount it up. There you go. And the nice part about this knob here is it allows you to adjust the brake power or the brake bias um, to, from the front to the rear of the vehicle on the fly, which is pretty slick. All right, so that should be everything. I'm gonna go over and make sure I got everything tightened down properly. Um, I also gotta take my uh, power steering leak kit. I gotta bolt that back up, make it look all nice. going all the way across the firewall. You'd have two big hoses coming all the way to the front, power steering pump, power steering reservoir. But all that is now deleted. And then once you put the engine in here, you pretty much can't see any of that. So that's gonna wrap it up for today's video, but I still have a fuel line tuck kit as well as a clutch line I can install also from Chase Bays. I'll be making videos about that coming soon. Uh, but if you liked today's video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And we will see you next Tuesday. Bye!